Hi 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 everyone and welcome to Let's Cook with Ted PSX. Today I'm gonna show you what you can do with a um, uh, loaf of bread that's a couple of days old. It's not too hard but it's it's not so good because let's see it was four days since this uh, bread was uh, baked. So I will take as I said, a loaf of bread. I will have some uh, minced meat, a red onion, a yellow onion, some bacon. This is uh, pre cut bacon, uh, creme fraiche. This is a creme fraiche with uh, paprika and chili, some whey cheese. I think that's the English name for it. May small, so uh, we call it in Sweden. Just some uh, regular grated taco cheese, um, canned chanterelles, and uh, some canned uh, mushrooms. So now I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I will. Uh, Slice the onions. Just cut them up like this, and peel the skin off like that. One onion peel. And the other onion. Just looking at me from the world, exactly. So, I'm gonna use that as it, as it is. So, and I'm gonna shut down the map. Like this. You can, if you want uh, big pieces of onion, you can just chop them big. I want uh, something in between. Like this. And since the mushrooms are canned and not fresh, I have uh, rinsed them in cold water. And they are, they are a bit big for my taste, so I'm just gonna roughly chop them up a bit. Just like this. So, 
like that. And I am gonna move over to the stove, so I'm just gonna make a small cut here and uh, I will see you at the stove. So now that that's hot, I'm gonna start with the bacon. Let's put it in. And the onion. So I will leave out the mushrooms for a bit. Just, just uh, let it fry and use some white pepper if you want and you can also use some uh, black pepper but today I'm not gonna use some black pepper because uh, I am uh, gonna take uh, this dinner home to my parents later this evening and uh, we're gonna eat it because uh, it's Mother's Day today now when I'm recording this so when my mom's uh, uh, stopped working for the evening I'm just gonna give it to them So now the onion is uh, starting to uh, get uh, soft, so I will put the mushrooms in right now. Now you might uh, wonder why I wait with the mushrooms, it's uh, because I wanted uh, the bacon and the onions to uh, let out uh, the flavor in the pan and so the mushrooms easier can soak up the flavor and just let it fry Probably I will cut some parts out when I'm just frying. And this time I will put uh, some background music in, as you might already have heard. So I'm just gonna fry this a bit, I'm gonna make a small cut here until it's uh, done. So now that that has uh, been frying for a couple of minutes, as you can hear it's uh, almost dry in the pan, just uh, crackling because uh, the mushrooms uh, have soaked up all the flavors and moist and fat in the uh, pan. So that's ready for now so I'm just gonna put it in a bowl for some while um, oh, don't, don't escape so that's in a bowl and I'm just gonna put that aside for a bit and now I'm gonna take the mincemeat Like that. 
just shut it out. white pepper a little bit of black pepper but not much as I said before my dad doesn't like black pepper and we are gonna have a Mother's Day dinner Now you might think, uh, might wonder, I mean, uh, why I haven't used any salt yet. Well, <laughs> matter of fact, when I, when I was uh, at the store earlier today, I forgot to buy salt. But I have bacon and it's a bit salt and I am gonna use uh, soy sauce. On it. So uh, it, it won't be tasteless. around and I'm gonna make a small cut here until uh, the mincemeat is uh, ready and I'm back as you can see the mincemeat is uh, as good as done it just needs to get rid of all this excess water but I decided to uh, finish it up in a pot so I'm just gonna pour it over Put that aside and take the mushrooms and bacon and the onions. Put it in as well. Put it back on the stove. Everything. And then just mix it around from here. Crap, I got a SMS. Uh, wait. So, sorry about that. It was just a friend uh, who wanted to know how it, how it was going with the cooking. So, I'm just gonna flip this around. So, the handle is a bit broken. Just mix it around a bit like this and let's see where do I put the spoon. Uh, I'm just gonna make a cut and take from uh, take a spoon. So now I grab the spoon, I'm just gonna stir this around a bit more. And now I'm gonna take the whey cheese. Just gonna take one spoon like that. Not too much. I don't want uh, everything to just taste like whey cheese. I just want it to give a hint of a taste. I don't know exactly how this is gonna be because uh, I am never uh, made. Uh, this filled loaf with whey cheese before but I have made a meat stew with whey cheese before that was lovely just lovely if you like uh, whey cheese of course if you don't uh, like it uh, uh, I could so 
just when I thought I had uh, solved the problems with my computer, it started to act up on me like that again. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, if you don't like way cheese, you can use some other cheese with a, what do you call it, a, a, sh a sharp taste if you like. Uh, some people don't uh, make a meat meat stew like I am. They use they make a ham and cheese stew or a shrimp stew or something like that. It's just what you like. Uh, and it should preferably taste good with uh, bread, of course. So I, I just added the creme fraiche. brown color and add to the taste as well so just like that and it's as good as uh, done so I am gonna make a small cut again so I will be back at the table and uh, back at the bread, loaf of bread so. so I'm back at the table with the bread and gonna dig out the bread and this you can just put it in a bag put it in the freezer and take it out next time you're making a soup or you're making chili con carne or just baked beans with chili about that I forgot uh, to pick, uh, take out the oven tray so I have put the bread there and I am just gonna fill the bread now just like this now you might wonder why I made so much of uh, the, the meat stew, but I am gonna make more than one of the, this loaf. I'm just gonna, but I'm just gonna show you one loaf in this show. So. Fill it like that, and now I will take the grated taco cheese. And sprinkle over the meat. Uh, 
just like that and I'm gonna put the lid on and sprinkle just a little bit of cheese over it just for the looks so and now I am gonna make a little cut here and that cut was just so I can show you when I put it in the oven in the middle of the oven for uh, 200 degrees Celsius and I don't know the exact time just when the cheese on the top of the bread uh, just uh, started to be a bit brown then it's uh, ready so I'm gonna make a cut until I take it out and I'm gonna show it to you when it's done so now it's been in the oven for about uh, 10 minutes on grill so let's take it out um, that's the local bread and as you can see the cheese in the middle acts almost like a glue hot and that's that for this episode um, I will thank you for uh, watching and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did and I have a little suggestion for the next episode and that is if you viewers will uh, come up with uh, some ideas for what to cook next time or and even uh, where I should be and cook it it's like uh, I uh, talked with some friends uh, the other week and we played with the idea that I would be out on the balcony and cook food or something like that so I want you to uh, comment the video and say what I should cook and where I should cook it and uh, I will thank you for watching this time bye bye